Hey, hey, good day, folks, and welcome to another edition of Lumberjack Logic Live. I'm your host, Neil Johnson, with more news breaking out of New York because it's breaking out of New York all the time. I've never, I, I think this is disheartening to many of us because we did not know and fully understand just how corrupt the judicial system was. We put a lot of faith in that, that, you know, everybody had their day in court, you know, that these, uh, you know, a right to us free and fair trial a speedy trial all of that look at this we've already got a super chat i got to bring it up by brooks kelly it says Bragg's kate's cops that will be his downfall he got a lot of downfalls and as we get into this story you're going to see a lot of things getting exposed do me a favor as you come into the show please smash that like button do chat in with where you're from and let's see who's on i'll welcome a few of you in here really quick i see glenn brooks is on i see kansas city missouri christopher kringle <laughs> that's great vets and texans for trump larry pickett yeah, you got jenny rainmaker from minnesota is on uh nakusa wisconsin agent orange great mod and uh as we uh bring as we get this show rolling too i do want to mention my sponsor really quickly and that's midas gold group uh midas gold group .com or text lumberjack to 232 425 and you can receive free silver with qualifying order i've got some more coming today these are veteran owners not commissioned salespeople. uh so it's a it's a great way to get your gold and silver i i just i'm a believer in sound money people i i you know everybody's got their own ideas their own philosophies on all that but i'm a believer in sound money so i just wanted to bring up that's what their uh, website looks like but it's midas gold group MidasGoldGroup.com, or you can call them at 480-360-3000. Okay, but without further ado, let's get into this news, because this is, I tell you what, I, you know, I think we're all a little frustrated, and I understand that. But, again, I, I said this before, and I used to hate hearing this, but I really do think that we needed to go through this. <clears throat> In retrospect, I think we can look back now and see how much the country is shifting when it was such on such a radical decline that as we see more of these people attacking Trump getting exposed, as we see more of these bombshells fall, uh, well, it creates reactions, people, and it creates reactions like this. And I want to just start this show with a video from MSNBC and to show you just how extensive the panic is, just how ex how actually upset they are about everything that's going on. So let's watch this and uh, enjoy this together. So <laughs> it's time to do something different. Like, we're not going to have this conversation again. I have come on the air with breaking news about requests for gag orders because of threats for judges and their kids more times than I could count today before I got ready. And Judge Ludig, I think it's time. I don't know who has to write the banners at the bottom of my show. I'm sorry in advance. But Donald Trump broke the rule of law. And we should cover a broken judiciary in this country. Donald Trump managed to delay every federal criminal trial based on facts that he barely denies. Donald Trump managed to enlist the Supreme Court in a delay process, the highest court in the land. Donald Trump brazenly and repeatedly attacks not just judges, and I've had the privilege of sitting across not just from you, Judge Ludig, but from Judge Esther Salas, whose son was assassinated by a crazy person. Judges don't have Secret Service protecting them. They don't even always have, I mean, her child answered the door. What are we going to do different? Because Donald Trump sure as hell isn't changing. Now, folks, there's so much that I could poke holes in with that. Um, but as we get into this big news of the day, I want you to know this. This is so this is Nicole Wallace. She's of MSNBC, obviously. And Trump criticized New York judge Juan Merchant's daughter. OK, now here I got this from Colin Rugg off of X. What Wallace didn't say during her meltdown is the fact that Mershon's daughter is president of a far left political consulting firm. And I'm going to bring the receipts to you here. Those are brought to you courtesy of Laura Loomer. What is even more insane is that Lauren Mershon's clients have raised $93 million with help from the Trump hush money trial, the same one that her father is overseeing. So you need to understand that this judge, his daughter, is raising money off this trial. And wait till you see her Twitter profile. It's going to blow your mind. 
Two major Democratic clients of the daughter of the judge overseeing Donald Trump's hush money trial have raised at least $93 million in campaign donations and used the case in their solicitation emails. The New York Post reported on that, but really that was all exposed by none other than Laura Loomer. So I'm going to bring in uh, this. And the other thing, too, people, I don't know if you know this, but Letitia James or Letitia, whatever it is, I don't care. Uh, Tish, Tish James office uh, is actually facing a tampering charge. This in an unrelated case, but it does show birds of a feather flock together. I'll bring that in as well. Uh, but let's get into this story here. And I'm going to make this just a little bit bigger so you all can see it. Hopefully the best. All right. So a little story called Your Honor, Get Trump. It's worth noting that disgraced congressman Adam Pencilneck Schiff appears to be the number one client of authentic campaigns. Lauren Mershon is the president and partner of Authentic Campaigns. Lauren's father is the rabid TDS suffering judge presiding over the Soros-funded Manhattan DA Alvin Bragg's witch hunt lawfare case against the 2024 front-running presidential candidate, President Donald J. Trump. From 2022 through today, the Schiff campaign has dispersed 89 payments to Authentic Campaigns totaling a whopping $13,942,183. This is just from Adam Schiff's campaign, people. That is an enormous amount of money. And it makes one wonder why Lauren Mershon's company is receiving millions of dollars from anti-Trump Democrats. Notwithstanding the political vitriol displayed by Lauren Mershon's ex-profile picture, which depicts President Trump behind jail bars, here, let me just skip ahead. I'll just show you that real quick. No, nope, not that one. There. There you go. So this is Lauren Mershon's uh, X or Twitter profile picture. So you can see here it is. President Trump behind bars. This is the daughter of the judge, okay, presiding over Alvin Bragg's case, which isn't a case at all. Okay, seriously. I mean, Stormy Daniels didn't say it. I've covered all this. It's just, it's nauseating. It's, it's, it's endless. But again, I think we had to go through this because we had to understand just how bad it is. I know nobody wants to hear that. I didn't want to hear it either. So it's it's fine. I get it. I totally get it. And I don't, you know, at some point, though, we want to see these people face justice. I, I mean, what more do we need at this point? I mean, to constantly see all the rabbit trails and what they lead to and just how rabid and anti-Trump these people are. Why are they in positions like this? Why are they, you know, why are they able to oversee these cases? But anyway, so there you have Lauren. Um, there's her profile. Page. But back to this. Okay. Uh, is there a chance her daddy will act impartially in Trump's trial? So for the chat, let me ask the question. I'm curious. Do any of you guys think, I mean, I understand that this is his daughter and but typically, you know, kids will oftentimes, especially when they're closer, will reflect their parents in a sense. So do you guys think there's any chance that this judge would act impartially in this case based upon this information that you are just now getting? And some of you probably saw this over the weekend, but I was busy celebrating. That's right. Resurrection Day. Not whatever visibility day, but resurrection day, because, and I don't pay any heed to the other stuff. I'm not going to make videos on it or anything because it's ridiculous. It's not going to end well for these people. You don't mock God. You don't mock Christ. You don't mock the resurrection of Christ with something like that and have it turn out well. It doesn't. And I actually pray people that they, that they come around instead of burning in a lake of fire. I mean, it'd be the best outcome. I mean, could you just imagine if these people got turned around, if we had national revival at that kind of a level? It'd be epic, okay? So, let's see. Furthermore, during this attempted transition to communism in America, the Democrat Party, the Communist Party, will use lawfare to suppress and imprison any and all political dissidents who get in their way. The court will remain in recess until January 20th, 2025. 
you know, prior to its demise, she says the New York State Unified Court System was formerly the most prestigious and well-respected judiciary in the world. I didn't know that. Let's go on to the next one. Judge Mershon's daughter has Kamala Harris as her client, a company that focuses on campaigns and election. Mershon, the New York State Supreme Court judge who issued a gag order against President Trump today, and he's all upset. The judge is all upset because he brings up his daughter, just like we saw in that earlier video clip I shared from MSNBC. Again, is this somehow not news that this is going on? Is that what the left wants us to believe? Okay, Judge Mershon, the New York State Supreme Court judge who issued a gag order against Trump, has a daughter named Lauren Mershon, right? So, but now, get this. She's an act, big act do, blue donor. But uh, what I find really interesting, let me skip ahead to this. So here she is, act blue, act blue, act blue. Now we know they smurf and all this stuff. But look at this one, win red. I would love to see, is that Mitch McConnell she's giving to? Uh, I did not have time to pull that up and figure that out. But I wonder who through win red she's giving to. Who do you guys think it is? Maybe it's uh, Liz Cheney. I bet it's Liz Cheney. It's just. Maybe it's Adam Kinzinger. <laughs> it's just so ridiculous. It's uh, I just uh, so now let's go here. So here you go, Lauren Marchand, authentic campaigns president and partner. Okay, so just so you know, in addition to doing groundbreaking historical work for clients like John Tester, Kamala Harris, Adam Schiff, and others, authentic campaigns is setting new industry standards through its commitment to diversity transparent compensation, employee benefits, and more. See, this is going to be their downfall, these companies. You know, their commitment to diversity, uh, which means hiring people who aren't as qualified if they fit the right profile. So proud of our president, Lauren Marchand. Okay, so again, this just to show you, this is all things that uh, uh, Laura Loomer had posted. It's really, it's just bringing the receipts. Here she is, okay? This isn't uh because they tried to deny this. They actually tried to deny this. It's just nuts. And it's all out there. Okay. So then uh she had posted a video, but again, uh I didn't I didn't bring that in. It was 21 seconds. It just shows where these links go to. Um the same handle linked on the official staff paid for Kamala Harris at Lauren M426. Okay. Um then let's go down to this because I want to get in Trump's statement on this on Judge Engeron because it's not only uh, obviously this Mershon and Alvin Bragg. And then, of course, I still have that story from Letitia James here. But Judge Engeron has refused to obey the decision of the Pellet Division relative to the statute of limitations. And this is the thing. And I think what happens is we continue to see so much corruption. Getting back to the base of this, this is a case that because of statute of limitations, never should have even been heard. And then it was heard in the wrong court. It was not heard in the commercial division. I'm talking about Engeron's case now. I know it's tough to keep track of them all. You know, you got Jack Smith, you got Engeron, you got Fanny down there, Bonnie. See, they all, you know, Letitia, Letitia, Bonnie, Fanny. I don't even think it matters. The names don't matter. The, uh, the corruption matters a lot, okay? Uh, anyways, back to this. It is frustrating. I get that, people. But again, the exposure is what we're after here right now because we need to win in the court of public opinion. No matter what's happening and the left is freaking out about the delays, no matter what happens, we need to win in the court of public opinion. So this is a confrontation between a judge and those that rule above him, a very bad situation in which to place New York State in the rule of law. You know, you saw it too, just down in Georgia, Fannie Willis defying orders of a judge and speaking out about, you know, how this is really, it's it's all about racism when he asked her not to. And people say, well, you know, Trump's speaking out, the judge is telling him not to. You know, this is, but our, our justice system is so far defunct right now. Angeron has disrespected the appellate division in his very clear, precise ruling. He should be made to do so and at the same time, release the gag order. This is the fifth time in this case that he has been overturned. A record. His credibility and that of Letitia James has been shattered. We will abide by the decision of the appellate division, post either a bond, equivalent securities, or cash. 
This also shows how ridiculous and outrageous Angeron's original decision was at $450 million. I did nothing wrong, and New York should never be put in a position like this again. Businesses are fleeing. They are, PayPal. It's wild. Violent crime is flourishing. You see that every day. And it is very important that this be resolved in its totality as soon as possible. Thank you. I think one of the big stories here is, you know, as we see that these judges are getting exposed, you know, their wife, anti-Trumpers, Trump behind bars uh, on their profile pictures, Trump in a jumpsuit in their profile pictures and so on. This is the same thing. Angeron's wife was the same way as this gal, the daughter of Marshawn. But as you uh, as you look at this stuff, I think it's really important that we remember that these were cases that never should have even been brought. So as we expose all the fraud behind this, I ultimately think Trump will win as he appeals all the way up to the Supreme Court. I, I don't doubt that. But the exposure of this, as painful as it is to see and as bad as it is for Donald Trump, it actually ends up being good for the country in the end. Um, let's see. So that's that's that stuff there. Then uh, let me get on to this other story. Well, here, I'm going to do this because I'm going to just pull this out. So give me just a quick second. I want to mention my sponsor, MyPillow. You guys know uh, MyPillow.com, promo code Lumberjack. Big savings right now. Still the $25 extravaganza going on. Still free shipping with orders over $75. You can call them at 800-568-2865. Support Mike Lindell, uh, my pillow. He's a great, he's a great guy. He really is. I mean, I, uh, I don't know. I, you know, I've had the privilege, obviously, of meeting and talking with Mike Lindell. You guys saw me interview him. He's actually got a lot more depth than what the media portrays him as. Uh, he's just. I just, I just love the guy. I mean, he's just, uh, yeah, the caricature of him is something really crazy, but uh, it's just not true. So now let me stop this screen share, and now i got to bring in another screen share. Hey, while I'm bringing this in, I'm going to play this video again for those that just jumped on. Watch the meltdown here on MSNBC. So <laughs> it's time to do something different. Like, we're not going to have this conversation again. I have come on the air with breaking news about requests for gag orders because of threats for judges and their kids more times than I could count today before I got ready. And Judge Ludig, I think it's time, I don't know who has to write the banners at the bottom of my show, I'm sorry in advance, but Donald Trump broke the rule of law. And we should cover a broken judiciary in this country. Donald Trump managed to delay every federal criminal trial <laughs> based on facts that he barely denies. This is, I just love that part. They're just so upset because it's all, uh, it's all being delayed. Okay, so now I'm going to bring this in, folks. Um, so, well, here, I got to tell you guys, somebody asked me, you guys had asked me to start a fake book page. I don't like fake book, but here I did it. So it's Lumberjack Logic Show on fake book. Um, you know, I, I'll, what, how do I share this? Uh, I could copy this, but I think that's, but it's Lumberjack Logic Show. Lumberjack Logic show on Facebook. So people asked me to because they wanted to be able to share stuff off Facebook. So there you go. I, I did it. Uh, okay. I'm not, I don't know. It's fake book people. I just I don't, I just, I hate it. I, I do. Uh, I think it's uh, kind of the worst of the worst, but so many people, especially people who are Trump supporters are on Facebook. So I started the page. All right. I did it. People asked me to, so I did it. All right. I hope you appreciate it. Go subscribe to the page if you're on Facebook, all right? So um, that's uh, that's it. Lumberjack Logic Show on Facebook. I, maybe I can just share this uh, here. I don't know, though, if this well, that probably it's probably my login page. I don't know. Um, so I'll just, there it is. This here, though, I want to get to this. Letitia James may assistant may face charges of criminal tampering. This isn't necessarily a big deal, but I want to show you this is like birds of a feather flock together. So an assistant um, for to New York Attorney General Letitia James may face a misdemeanor criminal charge for vandalism. Assistant Attorney General Stacey Hamilton 
may be facing third degree criminal tampering after allegedly damaging a neighbor's car by throwing an unknowing liquid on it in November, according to the Times Union. Hamilton's attorney reportedly accused the office of Albany County District Attorney David Soares of unfair treatment, although an associ unassociated special prosecutor was assigned to the case. The office of James has been thrown in the national spotlight. We understand that. However, the purported charge against Hamilton is entirely unrelated to Trump, instead involving an alleged dispute or incident between the assistant attorney general and her neighbor. Hamilton, who has worked for multiple state government agencies in the Empire State, denied to the Times Union that she had been charged with any crime, purportedly telling the paper's reporter over the phone that they need to do some actual investigating. You don't need to do some actual investigating. The New York Attorney General's office, because then we wouldn't be having criminal trials against Trump, but we would be having criminal trials against those that are facilitating the takeover of the country through the illegal immigration. But anyhow, I digress. Court documents cited by the Times Union allege that Hamilton doused a neighbor's car with unknown liquids. Okay, the uh, filed a vandalism complaint saying the liquid had damaged the paint on his vehicle. Hamilton's lawyer, Kevin Gagan, told the paper that the girlfriend of the car's owner had assaulted the assistant attorney general on the same night of the alleged vandalism incident. The girlfriend is purportedly facing a misdemeanor charge of assault. Gagan claimed the vandalism was, complaint was fabricated to get Hamilton arrested and to get into the papers to embarrass her so she would drop the criminal case against this guy's girlfriend. That's the whole case. He also claimed that the Office of Soros is pulling strings behind this due to maybe some personal animosity between them. I think that this is all full of personal animosity. That's what I think. Okay. Uh, and then it talks about behind the scenes uh, manipulation. So that's what's going on there. Birds of a feather do flock together, people. Um, it's, a, it's a crazy deal. So I, I just... Every time we turn around, there's more corruption to expose. And I know it gets tiresome, but again, I think we had to go through this, unfortunately. Do me a favor, smash that like as you uh, as you leave. We're done with the show. Check out my sponsors, Midas Gold Group and My Pillow. Um, again, get some sound money, people. Get some sound money. Here, I'll show you one other thing. This is, uh, here it is. They are veteran owners, okay? I have a, I have uh, some stuff coming today. I, I got uh, some graded coins. I haven't done that before, but uh, like a graded, uh, I'll show you when it comes. I'll show you. It's like silver dollars, old silver dollars, and a graded uh, Liberty Eagle in those cases and everything. Usually, I just like to get the stuff for what it is. It doesn't matter to me if it's mint. Uh, it's just having silver around to trade. Anyways, I love y'all. Keep fighting the good fight. Uh, Stay true to the cause. We're winning. We're winning. Uh, often it's darkest before the dawn. I know that's a kind of a you know pop culture thing, but uh, we're winning. Okay, we really are. In the court of public opinion, we're winning, and we got to help this young generation out. This Gen uh, is a Gen Z now. Uh, we got to help them out because they're led so astray by the schools, the education system, the news media, all of it. So. Uh, you know, do it for the children, as they say. Anyways, thanks so much for joining us. See you on the next episode. Peace out. If you're new, do subscribe. All right. Do subscribe. Love to have you on board.